All right, so I just picked up this Aaron's 115-28 Pro 28-inch snowblower from a guy down in Mammoth for 100 bucks. And sitting on top of it is a Carol Stream 10 horsepower diesel combination pull start recoil start motor. So I bought the blower with no engine on it. That's why I got it so cheap. And then I ordered this engine off uh, the internet. Just got here. And right now it's just resting on top of the blower. I also went online to Aaron's and I bought the pulleys for the stock Aaron's engine. This is the drive pulley and this is the auger pulley. This is plastic. I'm not too psyched about that, but I guess that's what they give you. And I don't have any experience with small engines, but um, apparently this is a standard size because the Aaron's apparently was a one inch diameter crank or a uh, yeah, crank and has some keyway. And the Carroll Stream Chinese diesel motor is also a one inch crank and some kind of keyway. So that's really nice. These fit right on. And uh, yeah, I just need to align the motor so the pulleys line up. And then I bought this half inch aluminum plate. And what I plan to do is Sandwich it in between the motor and the and the blower. Mount the motor to it and mount the blower to it and see what happens. So I can hope that the engine spins the right direction. And I guess we'll see what happens when I oil her up and get and fuel her up. To be continued. So here's the adapter plate mounted on the bottom of the uh Carl Stream diesel. It's a half inch aluminum. I uh, put M10 helicoils uh, here on the corners for the uh, uh, actual motor mounting to the adapter plate. And they stick out just enough, I think, that I should put a washer on top. I'll Loctite them too. And then. The uh, bottom of the motor castings, you know, just an irregular casting, so I drilled this pattern in the adapter plate. And these are where the bolts fit uh, without binding up on the bottom of the motor. And so I'm going to take these out, I'm going to reattach the adapter plate, I'm going to line it up with the pulleys make a mark, and then drill the corresponding holes to these bad boys in the blower, and then use uh, some fender washers. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't conflict too much with that bolt pattern. I didn't really think about that. Guess we'll see where it goes. Okay, so here's the final bolt pattern in the bucket here. It's pretty tight. Not perfectly straight, but it's close enough for a V-belt. I misdrilled these two on the left here. I didn't have to drill those, but if you look at the bottom. Ooh. There's a, uh, it's tough to see, but there's a bend in the sheet metal, so I wasn't able to get a washer or a nut on that side. So I had to scrap those and drill the other two. And so these guys should be ready to go. Let's see what happens. So here's the engine all mounted. Use lock washers on the front bolts and regular washers on the back because the back were slotted. Loctite for all of them. Uh, the engine's nice and square. But in my hole drilling, it ended up moving back about a quarter inch. So these are a little offset now. So if 
probably do is get a quarter inch worth of spacers for that shaft and just press that up against it like that. And then when I add the, I think it's a 7 16 bolt on the front, that'll cinch nicely. So now I gotta get the manual and figure out how to start it, see what happens. I mount this key switch here. My hole saw kind of sucked. So gotta get a new one. Um well sneeze done. Gotta test fit some V-belts. And then get the cover for it. And damn it, I think that's it. Okay, so I started this last weekend, didn't film it, so I'm gonna try to start it again today. It's about 55 degrees out. Got a Volkswagen TDI. Uh Snowblower diesel. some measurements and bought some belts from vbeltsupply.com. Um, I'll take you over and have a look at the thing operating, but it looks like the drive uh, clutch is stuck on on this blower, so uh, it, it'll always drive. Even when I was trying to start it without the handle bolt, it was in drive, so I gotta figure out how to back that drive clutch off. But the auger works, so let's go have a look at the auger. So yeah, it turns out it was just missing a spring. So yeah, everything works. I need to fix the gear on that stupid uh, unconventional Aaron's chute adjustment thing. I hate that thing. And then get some cosmetic stuff like, I ran over my hose, that was stupid. Get some cosmetic stuff, I guess, like the, the trans cover and maybe a new sticker. But yeah, almost ready for a winter. Regarding the belt guard, <clears throat> see if we can get this with a flashlight. Uh, because the, 
drive shaft on the motor is either higher from the base plus my adapter plate, or maybe it's the correct size and my adapter plate makes it taller. Uh, I needed longer belts. And this, uh, where is it? this belt guard no longer fits. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna cut the top off right here. And see if I can inlay some inlay some fiberglass or something to make it taller. Uh, other than that, yeah, still looking good. I put an Anderson connector on there for the starter. And uh, yeah, when we get some snow, hopefully I'll have the thing running and in finished shape. All right, here we have the first snow of the year. Nice and cold out. Haven't actually finished this. Like I needed to put the belt cover on and uh, fix this little guy, but winter's here. So let's see how she starts up. It's cold. So the diesel errands project's almost done. The only thing that needs done is uh, I gotta fix the belt guard. The the fiberglassing of that was a complete disaster. So I need to figure something else out. Maybe I'll make a little piece of plastic or an aluminum standoff or something for it. Um, uh, I put a little speed controller on the side, which I'll show when I get over there. And we got dumped on last night. We got shitload of snow, so. Uh, I'll show you the throttle and then we'll take a pass and that'll probably be it. Oh, also, I'm aware that uh, tying down the auger is probably the most dangerous thing you can do with a snowblower, especially if you have pets, but just for filming I tied it down. drive with one hand uh, yeah this thing's sweet 